Hello, I'm Ryan with Learning Worcester Kids, and today I'm going to be playing the game Shape Switcher for you. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of the game and show you what things skills can be used while playing this game. We're just going to go at it, but first I'm going to show you the controls. The main controls of this is just your little arrow keys, that's all you need, and later on you're just going to need space to switch from level to level. Um, we're just going to click play, you, but there's cool things like level editors making their own levels and whatnot. But let's just go at it. So you start as as this little green blob in this level. Every level you, you start as like a different little colored blob or a different shaped blob. And the main objective of the game is to get to the star on the right. You'll notice that as this green blob I can go through this gate right here that is green and a circle. So the game is really based around getting through different gates and getting to the end objective. I'm a green little circle right now so I'm trying to get to this star and I can't really get to it so I need to think about what I need to do. I run to this this little triangle shape down here and now I turned into a green triangle. Now I'm the right shape but I still can't make it through the door. So what will happen if I go up here? Now I turn into a red triangle which is exactly what I need to open up this door. You really just have to find the right shape to get to the end goal. You'll need to be either green or square to get through one of the first two doors. So to get yeah either I could go this way and be green or this way and be square. Though I can't uh, there's nothing to turn me green over here so I'm gonna turn into a square and go down. You can see that this game really requires some focus and you need to really look at what you need to get through each gate one at a time. Although I see at the end I need to be a either a red lightning bolt to get through, I, I'm currently not that and I need to f focus and figure out what I need to be right now to get through. So I turned into a blue square now and me being a blue square allows me to make it through the blue gate. And you'll notice that some gates you only need to be the same shape or same color and some gates you need to be you need to be both the same type of gate and the same type of color although most of these gates only require one of them so it's easy enough to kind of figure it out and go step by step and make it through you'll realize how planning really comes into play in this game because I I'm already at the end goal right here but I need to be a blue square so I really need to look around this entire area and think about what I need to do step by step to turn into a blue square so you're gonna notice that I start off as a red square so maybe I can go through this or this a red circle I should say so maybe I can go through this little red one right here and it worked so now I turn into green and I go at the green one and I'm gonna continue this and find the next green gate turn into a blue go out the blue gate and use my circle shape maybe to go in here and you really just have to look step by step what makes sense for what type of shape or color you currently are and go with the flow and just make the steps needed to turn into the final one that you need to be and make it through the goal focusing on getting through these levels is not too different than focusing on cleaning your room although you have an end goal and you have to focus on eventually getting there you aren't there from the start and you have to think about where you should start just like what gate you should go through and what you will need to do to get to the end and just really stick with it and observe all your options and keep making an effort until you get exactly where you need to be and focusing in this game is is very similar to planning in this game just like you would plan on making a sandwich, you have to think about every ingredient you need to make this end sandwich. Although you may want a roast beef sandwich with, with barbecue sauce and cheddar cheese and roast beef and ham, you really have to make sure you have all the ingredients just like you need to make sure you have the right shape or color to get through each gate to get to the end goal. So you really need to make a plan and look at the area and think about what you need to do each level to get to the end area just like to make your end sandwich. This has been Ryan with Learn Works for Kids. This game is pretty addicting, pretty fun. Um, recommended for ages 5 and up and have fun playing it. Bye.